we are going to be talking again about um, family, community, and participation today for Catholic Social Teaching for our September class. And I want everybody to think about what the words family, community, and participation mean to them. What do you think of when you think of family? What do you think of when you think of a community or your community? And what do you think about doing when you think about participating in something or being a participant in something? So for family, some of you probably thought, you know, mom, dad, grandparents, aunts, uncles, cousins, um, and that is your family. Your family can also be your more relatives, family members that you don't get to see that often. Maybe they live far away. Maybe um, they're your dad's cousin's kid. And they're your second cousin. Uh, maybe they're your mom's aunt. They're your great aunt. Family members are people that you feel are family, though, too. So maybe your best friend, your neighbor, um, your favorite teacher, they can feel like family also. And our community is the place where we live. So uh, our street is a community, our neighborhood is a community, our school is a community, um, the city that you live in is a community, and even even the state that you live in or the country that you live in can be like a community. And participation means being a part of something. So you can be a part of your family or your community by going to different things that go on. Like with your family, you can eat dinner with your family. You can go for a walk with your family or go to the movies with your family. And in your community, you can go see a parade or go watch fireworks on 4th of July. You can also participate in your family by helping your family and doing your part, um, doing some of the work. That's things like cleaning your room, helping take care of pets, um, being kind to younger siblings and older siblings, uh, respecting your parents. And it's also something that you can do in your community. So things like throwing away your garbage and not littering. Things like um, oh, listening to all the safety rules when you go for a walk or ride your bike. Um, being respectful of other people if you're on the playground or at the park. And what we learn from this is that every single person in the world um, was made by God and that makes them special. And it also makes them worthy of respect. That means that they deserve us to treat them kindly. Now, some people aren't going to treat us kindly. Some people um, are not gonna be super nice to us. Um, and we don't have to be okay with that but we do still have to be kind to that person. We don't have to try extra hard to spend time with them or to hang out with them or be around them, but if we do have to be near them being kind. Um, and this is because um, God created us as social. It means um, we like to have friends. We like to be around our family. We like to be together um, in Genesis, the first book of the Bible, God made one human, he made Adam, and he gave Adam like all these animals, and that he had all this wonderful food and plants and things like that. And God looked at him though and said, it is not good for man to be alone. So he said, I, that God said, you know, I don't think that, you know, this, this thing, people, humans, um, should be by themselves. Like they really should be around other humans. And then he made Eve so that Adam would have a wife, so that there would be a family, a community for them. So how we act towards the people in our family and in our community, and how we act towards the animals in our family and community, 
how we act towards our home, our streets, our earth, our plants, our trees, our flowers, um, all those things that God created or that he blessed us with, um, how we act towards those things is really important. Um, because if you're somebody who is mean and somebody who won't help and somebody who um, litters or kicks over garbage cans or um, makes messes everywhere, um, you know, that's going to make the people around you sad. That's going to make God sad. But if we're somebody who is friendly and who tries to keep things um, clean and who likes to help take care of other people and take care of their home and take care of their gardens and their school and the world around them, um, then that brings happiness to the people around you and also to um, and also to God. So we can respect people and we can respect our community and build up that community and make it stronger and better um, by doing our part, by participating in things that will make our community stronger and our family stronger. So there is a story that I want to share with you really quickly. Um, of a woman called um, Luisma. So Luisma is from a country called Haiti. Haiti is a very, very small country in the Caribbean that is kind of close to um, Florida. Um, it's an island in the middle of the ocean. And um, Luisma is a volunteer, so she helps out for free with um, a group called Catholic Relief Services. And this group um, is a whole bunch of people who are Catholic who get together and they spend time helping people who are in need. And like I said, Luisma volunteers in Haiti and Haiti is right now the poorest country in the entire world. Most people who live there only have $2 every day to buy the things that they need. Um, food, drinks, um, new clothes. It doesn't come out to a whole lot of money. Um, it's kind of like having only $60 a month to pay for anything that you need, but your parents have to pay for. So like your, your car or your home or gas and, you know, gas in your gas tank so you can drive places, food, um, electricity, all those things that cost money. That's, the, that's how little they have. So there's a city. Um, it's by the sea. It's called La Calle. And this city does not have a lot of doctors or hospitals in it. And so people like Luisma help run what they call a community health clinic, which is a place that's kind of like a doctor's office where people can go for um, free checkups from a doctor and they can get first aid there. And there's a special clinic called a rally post. And what this special clinic is used for is for newborn babies. So moms can bring their babies here and their babies can get a checkup. They can also get their shots so they don't get sick. And if someone goes to one of these health clinics or rally points and is really, really sick and needs to go to a hospital, then these volunteers will help get them there because usually these people don't have cars and if they're really sick, they might not be able to like ride a bike or to get on a bus themselves. So they'll make sure that they get to the hospital. And then when people come home from the hospital, they'll go to their homes and check on them to make sure that they're healing, that they're getting better. And the moms there have started meeting um, with helpers like Luisma once a month. They share recipes to cook with um, vegetables, healthy, um, healthy foods. They have started a community garden where everybody helps to take care of different vegetable and fruit plants so that they have a lot of um, free healthy foods that are available to them for their families. Um, before Luisma and Catholic Relief Services started working in this area in Haiti, um, the people who lived in the Calle got really, really sick a lot and they didn't have a lot of good food to eat and people weren't getting enough vitamins and they were getting really, really weak and sick. Um, and they didn't have any medicine that they needed in order to get better when they did get sick. Um, and now everybody who lives there is healthier because of volunteers like Luisma. So their, their families and their communities are better because people like Luisma are participating in their community 
um, and trying to make their community stronger by volunteering their time to help others around them. And Jesus and his followers work together to take care of other people just the same way. And they want us to do the same thing. And this is because we are all one family. We're all God's family. 